Well, doing my first crawfish boil down here in Louisiana. Yep, everybody want to know how I'm doing? Doing pretty good. Got the cooker ready to go. Got some crawfish getting ready. Look at the crawfish. Look at them all in there. Look at them all moving. Oh, little, little crawfishies. Get ready to wash them over here in this crawfish hot tub, what you call it. Get them a little wash job, get all the mud off because they are mud bugs. So yeah, then we gotta come over here, go into the cooker, and add some ingredients, some crab boil. Yeah, yeah, now we're gonna fill this up. Get ready to do some crawfish boiling. I've been doing a lot of studying, many, many crawfish boils. So today's my day to tie my own crawfish boil. So, <coughs> wish me luck. All right, my family friends, here we go. We got the water in there. Now we're going to add our ingredients. Got the burners on. Get that water to a good rolling boil. We're going to start adding our flavoring. This is good stuff right here. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Put all that in there. All, oh, oh, yeah. Savor. Mm-hmm. We're going to add some crab boil. Pour all that in there. Get all them juices. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That in there. I'm going to put a crawfish bag boil in there. Bag of more seasoning. Some more crawfish boil. The more the better. Over, we're gonna pour the rest of this in there from the last time. Yeah. Oh, if you could smell that up there in Wisconsin, oh, it's amazing smell. Amazing. So we're gonna agitate that a little bit, get them juices. And, oh yeah, look at that. Get them flavors mixed around. Now we're going to add our lemons. I like to squeeze them, drop them. Squeeze them, drop them. Yum, yum. Juicy, too. citrus flavor a couple more there we go now we're gonna add some potatoes sweet potatoes garlic we had this stuff but this takes a lot longer to boil yeah Add some mushrooms, soak up all that flavoring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that, Wisconsin friends, family. Yeah. Gonna agitate that a little bit more. What we want to do is get this a rolling boil before we add the crawfish. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to get the crawfish ready. We got a 20 pound sack here. I'm going to take this over the washer. They're all live crawfish. I'm going to cut the sack open. Cut it open more. 
gonna throw them in this nice whirlpool. Washes all the mud off them. Here we go. Look at all that. See all the mud in there? We want all that mud off before we cook them. We don't want to taste none of that mud. Give them a nice bath. That's going to keep agitating them for a while until that water is nice and clear. And, uh, if, any, if there's any dead ones, we'll float them to the top and we'll just take them. Trying to grab them. I don't want to get pinched. Those sons of bitches hurt. Let me tell you. Oh, I don't know. I don't see any dead ones coming up. Ooh, look at that big one. God dang it. But... Uh, we'll show you later uh, what the next step is. All right, let's see if these crawfish are done or the ready to boil. You got a good boil. Let's go. Let's go grab the crawfish. And you know how the good. Watch all the crawfish wave at you when you put your hand in here. I don't want to grab you. Look at ah, yeah. That means you know they're good. So here we go. We're gonna. Dump these boys, girls, I gotta say, all tug tender. Here we go, into the pot. This guy's here. This guy down here. It all goes, there we go, we're gonna mix it. Stir it up, so what we're gonna do, we gotta wait till this gets to roll, rolling boil again. We'll, for three minutes. Then we're gonna shut her down and start the cool off process. So, all right, we'll uh, touch back later. All right, let's check on these crawfish. It's been about three minutes on the boil. Looks pretty damn good. Let's go shut off the heat. Cool it down. We gotta cool it down so it don't continue to boil. So we're gonna add some cold little smokies. Pineapple, nice cold pineapple. Gonna soak up them flavors. Some andouille. Hope I said that right. I'm still learning terms. Did I say that right, and Dewey? Awesome. And then some frozen corn. What we want to do is stop this boil so, so we don't keep cooking. So that's the plan. We might cook it, uh, we might let it soak for 25, 30 minutes, so long as you soak it. Uh, the more flavor is in the meat. So the key here is, is uh, I think we might add some ice. Let's add some ice too. Add a little bit of ice in there. Drop that down a little bit. There we go, that should be enough for that. What we want to do is we want to stop the boil. We don't want the meat to keep cooking. We want these uh, crawfish to start sinking. When they sink, that means they're sucking in the juices. Yeah, there they go. See them starting to sink? Starting to cool off good. We stopped the boil. That's good. So now, like I said, we're going to probably leave these soak for anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes. So stay tuned for later. Thank you. Here's one of these feisty guys you just found on the ground. Look at him. He is mad at me. What's up, buddy? What do we get? Oh! Defense mechanism. We're gonna check it out, see how they're doing. It's only been about 15 minutes. We're gonna see, uh, we're gonna taste one. See how they, see how the flavor is. Mm-hmm. Yummy, yummy. Now, to eat a crawfish down here in Louisiana, you gotta twist the tail, pull, 
you can take this first ring off. And grab the tail and suck. Mm-hmm. Then you suck the head. Yeah. That's Louisiana crawfish. All right, been about a good 30 minute soak. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Slowly lifting this up, drain it out. Nice and easy. Mm-hmm. All right, now we're gonna take it over to the table. Mm-hmm. Louisiana crawfish. See you next time. <laughs>